How to learn Portuguese? The series. Do you sometimes feel like it's hard for you to understand what Brazilians say because they speak so fast? Do you wish you knew how to understand fast Portuguese better? So, this video is for you. Hi, Portuguese learner. My name is Ricardo. I'm a Portuguese teacher, instructional designer, and creator of Portuguese Fluente, a complete program for you to communicate in Portuguese with no barriers. In the second video of our series, I'll explain why you might have trouble understanding Portuguese speakers when they talk naturally, and I'll also give you practical tips on how to solve this problem. First, let's see why it's difficult to understand fast Portuguese. And I say it in quotes because actually this idea of they speak fast doesn't exist. To help you understand that, look at this sentence in English. How do you say it in a natural way? You don't say what if I don't like it. You say what if I don't like it. What if I don't like it. Did you see? When we speak in a natural way, we don't pronounce all the sounds of each word. We don't say word by word. In spoken language, words bump into each other. We shorten and blend words when we speak. And this is called connected speech. Connected speech is the way native speakers link and blend words together. And that's what gives a language its natural flow and rhythm. Some examples of connected speech in Portuguese. Casa amarela. Casa amarela. Nós somos um. Nós somos um. Falar a verdade. Falar a verdade. Besides connected speech, Spoken language also has a lot of contractions and reductions. Look! Contractions. Let's see two common contractions in Portuguese. Para plus o becomes pro. Eu vou para o banco. Eu vou para o banco. Em plus um becomes num. Eu estou em um banco. Eu estou num banco. Now, some reductions. Está. Tá. Ele está cansado. Ele está cansado. Você. Se. Você fala português? Você fala português? Se is very used here in São Paulo. Now, let's see contraction. Reduction and connected speech in a single sentence. Você está numa academia? Ok, and saying this in a formal way and word by word is Você está em uma academia? Se is the reduction of você. Tá is the reduction of está. Numa is the contraction of em and uma. And here we have connected speech. Você está numa academia? This is why we struggle to understand spoken Portuguese. You are not accustomed to all these language patterns. Now, let's talk about how to solve this problem. How to understand Portuguese spoken in a natural way. First, you need to listen to materials that capture the natural flow of spoken Portuguese. If you are a beginner, you can start with short stories and simple dialogues and with transcriptions. And as you improve your listening skills, you can gradually move on to more challenging materials. And another very important thing, listen to materials with different accents. Otherwise, you will have difficulty understanding people from different parts of Brazil. I've already made a video about Brazilian accents. 
you can find the link in the description below. And another point that makes all the difference is the material you listen to should be comprehensible. This means it needs to provide comprehensible input. Stephen Krashen's theory of comprehensible input suggests that language learners acquire a new language best when they are exposed to content that is slightly above their current level, but is still understandable to them. For input to be comprehensible, it must be in the form of meaningful language, which students can understand with the help of contextual clues, even though they don't fully understand the meaning of each word. That's why comprehensible input is an essential element in language learning, because it leads to better understanding, retention, and motivation. So, it's not listening for the sake of listening. You need to understand most of what you are hearing. Otherwise, it will become a tiring and frustrating experience, mainly if you are a beginner. Okay, now let's recap. 1. Search for materials for your level or slightly above. Find something interesting to you. This will keep you engaged and motivated. 2. Give preference to materials that mirror realistic scenarios, ones that capture the natural flow of spoken Portuguese. 3. Perceive and imitate connected speech, contractions and reductions. This practice will help you internalize these structures and improve your pronunciation as well. 4. Listen to the same audio repeatedly. This will reinforce your understanding and help you remember what you studied. And as I usually say, learning is remembering. Remembering is repeating. Understanding spoken language doesn't happen overnight. It requires a lot of time and exposure. But take it from me. With dedication and persistence, things will gradually become easier. And that's it, guys. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video of our series. Ciao!